a seat. Have a seat. So, uh, you're the manager of this establishment? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Frank Stein. Stein. Stein Hardware. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Stein. My name is Officer Alvarez. That over there is Officer Brodsky. We just have a couple of routine questions for you. Oh, okay. You mind, uh, you mind telling us what happened here tonight? Oh, uh, well, not, not at all. Uh, well, a guy walked in kind of late, 10 o'clock. We're closing up. Says, uh, hey, we, uh, where's your paint section? So I start to walk him over there. I turn around. Next thing I know, the guy's got a gun in his hand. It says, give me all the money in the register. All right, well, uh, can we start maybe, uh, can you describe the person, the culprits, please? Oh, I don't know, it all happened so fast. Hard to pick out the true details of them all. Well, we can start with some basics and we'll work away from there. How, let's start with, uh, how tall he was. Start, how tall was he? Okay, uh, well, uh, he was, uh, maybe, maybe like, to, to here? All right, short guy. He was a short guy, Alvarez. Short guy. Got it. Oh. All right, thanks. Now, uh, do we maybe know, like, his, uh, skin tone? What complexion he was? I mean, that, that'd be kind of hard to tell. I mean, well, he was wearing a hood, and, well, well, this vision ain't what it used to be. Well, let's rule out some of the possibilities, then. Was he maybe, like, uh, uh, more tan than you or I, but not, but not black, but uh, not quite white? But what's that color that's not white, but not black, but kind of in between? Gray. No, not gray. <laughs> uh, hey, what's the color of your belt? Brown? Brown. Oh, fuck you, all right? This, you're leading the witness. Hey, I'm doing my job. All right. All right, Mr. Stein, maybe you could help us out with uh, maybe his vernacular, his choice of words. What exactly did he say to you? Oh, okay, well, he said, uh, uh, put, put the money in the bag and nobody gets hurt. Okay, is, but is that exactly how he said it? Or was it maybe more something like, uh, put the money in the bag and nobody gets hurt, S.A.? Well, just what the hell are you trying to do, man? No, actually, that, that, was, that was pretty spot on. <laughs> really? Really, the guy who robbed you sounded like Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know who that is. Oh, is that that Mexican migrant worker? Oh, you're thinking of Cesar Chap? <laughs> all right, look, it's, all right, we're just gonna move on, okay? Uh, maybe, uh, is there something pertinent to the investigation you could tell us, maybe something concrete? I have, I have one more question, actually. Hear me out on this, hear me out. If we went out in the parking lot right now, do you think you can point him out to us? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, he ran away pretty quick. <laughs> okay, well, let me rephrase that. If we went in the parking lot right now, do you think there might be someone who looks enough like the perpetrator that you wouldn't mind if we just arrested that guy? Look, the robber was a Mexican. Is that what you want me to say? Yes, it is. Alvarez, you owe me $20! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You, you two gambled on the ethnicity of the robber? Well, that's just awful. I mean, you're supposed to serve and protect, not, not bet on what the ethnicity or of the minority you arrest is. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Get out of my face, Red. All right? Now listen, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I'm Mexican myself, okay? You think I like the fact that the guy who robbed you was brown? I don't, okay? Do you think I like the fact that I have to personally imprison so many of my own kind, my own brothers, literally? <laughs> think I like that? No. All right? So why don't you just calm down, because I'm pretty upset. Mainly because I bet him that the guy who robbed you would be black. Hey! <laughs> I just got a call on the walkie. We got a hit and run on I-45. Tim Buck says it's a Chinese. <laughs> Let's race. Oh. 